Hey everyone! So today I'm going to skip on the usual review content and talk a bit more about AMD Smart Access Memory Feature, or SAM for short. For those of you that haven't heard about SAM before, it is a feature AMD launched with their latest processors and their latest graphics cards, and it is meant to improve your gaming performance if you combine an AMD CPU with an AMD GPU. And in this video, I'm pretty much going to test it out and see how much of a difference will it actually make in a bunch of different games. Now, Alternate, uh, which is a local shop and a system integrator here in the Netherlands, thought, you know, that this was a very interesting topic and they were kind enough to sponsor this video and they were also kind enough to send one of their gaming systems that we can use to test this out. So, cheers to Alternate for making this video possible and let's begin. SAM is actually a very simple feature. So in the past, the processor in a typical system could only access a tiny bit of the memory of the graphics card, and with Smart Access Memory feature enabled, the memory bandwidth increases and the processor can access all of the GPU memory directly, which should in theory remove any potential bottleneck between the two and increase your gaming performance. The funny part is, is that it essentially uses a feature called Resizable Bar, which has been the part of the PCIe specification for some time now, but no one really bothered to look at it or, you know, to give it a cool name like AMD did last year. But you do need to have the right hardware for it. You need to have AMD's Radeon 6000 series graphics card, you need to have an AMD 500 series motherboard, a Ryzen 5000 series CPU, but also some 3000 series CPUs are supported as well, and you need to make sure that you have the latest drivers as well as the latest BIOS on your motherboard. And here I have a system that actually meets all of the requirements above. This is alternate system called the Thunderstorm X9. It comes with a 16 core AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, cooled by a 280mm Corsair Elite Capalix all-in-one cooler. There is an ROG Strix X570F gaming motherboard, Gigabyte Radeon RX 6800 XT gaming OC graphics card, 64GB of Corsair Vengeance memory, a 1TB Corsair MP600 Gen 4 SSD, plus a 2TB Corsair MP510 SSD for a little bit of extra storage, a 1000 watt RMX power supply to power it all up and the whole system is sitting in this nice Corsair 570X case. So it is a nice high-end system, it is very neatly built, uh, they didn't skimp on anything nor did they go way over the top uh, as some other system integrators tend to do. I guess an 850 watt power supply would have been enough and I would say most gamers don't really need a 16 core CPU and more than 32 gigs of memory, but it's a pre-built system and most pre-built systems are often bought by people that don't have a lot of PC knowledge and they think that a higher number is always better. Um, Though I would say as it is, this would be a very nice workstation, so I do kind of understand the logic behind it all. It is also a relatively expensive system, I would say. Uh, it will cost you 3700 euros, which does sound like a lot of money at first, but with the current situation with absolutely insane prices of processors and graphics cards, if you even manage to get your hands on one at all, it actually doesn't seem that excessive. But let's get back to SAM first. Now, the first thing we need to do is actually turn it on and the exact location of the setting will vary depending on the motherboard manufacturer. But what you want to look for is an option called above 4G decoding in your BIOS. Now on this ROG Strix board, uh, that's in the advanced tab under PCI subsystem settings. So turn on above 4G decoding, make sure resizable bar support is set to auto, or enabled, depending on your board, save that and exit the BIOS. That's it. Now, I did a little research and picked 11 games from my regular collection, and some of them are actually used by AMD as examples of games that show a really big benefit, but other games are the games that might not benefit at all or even show some small regressions. So let's start with Borderlands 3. There is a pretty big difference after turning SAM on. You get over 10% increase on 1080p, almost 13% on 1440p, and a 6% gain on 4K resolution, which are some pretty big numbers after changing just one single BIOS setting. And what is interesting here is that it actually benefits all resolutions. 
Assassin's Creed Valhalla is another game that AMD lists on their website as a game that should really benefit from SAM. And as you can see, there is a really big performance increase, especially on 1080p and 1440p. Unlike Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Odyssey only shows a small performance increase. But what's interesting here is that while the game is clearly CPU bottlenecked on 1080p and 1440p, the average FPS does go up a bit if you enable SAM. And some people thought that SAM might hurt the performance in a CPU bottleneck scenario, as now the CPU actually needs to handle a bit more work, but that actually doesn't seem to be the case. Call of Duty Warzone did show a really interesting result. Uh, I actually focused here on 1080p because it's a competitive title, and average frame rates went up by a tiny bit, which is okay, but the 90th and the 99th percentile results went up significantly. You probably won't really notice a difference uh, if you have a high-end system like this one, as the frame rates are so high to begin with, but if you turn on SAM on a lower-end system, you might see some noticeable differences. But as I said before, not all games will show real changes. Outriders is a more recent title, and here you only get one single extra frame on all three resolutions. I mean, you know, it's technically an increase, uh, but it is definitely not something you will ever notice. And the same goes for Watch Dogs Legion, uh, you get a single frame extra on 1080p and 1440p, and there is no difference on a 4K resolution. While Metro Exodus, uh, the original version, not the new enhanced edition, shows no difference at all on any resolution. The Division 2 in DirectX 12 mode does show a small benefit on 1080p, no change on 1440p, and a small FPS decrease on a 4K resolution. And it's a similar story with Troy Total War. You get somewhat of an increase on 1080p, a small increase on 1440p, and a small decrease on 4K resolution. Shadow the Tomb Raider, on the other hand, shows a small performance loss on all three resolutions, and the same goes for Wolfenstein Youngblood. Both are small decreases on already high FPS games, so you wouldn't really notice them, but still, it is technically a decrease. So when you take all of these results together, I would say that this is definitely a setting that you do want to turn on, and one that pre-built systems like this one should have on by default. And even if a few games did lose a bit of performance, the loss was actually very small and not really noticeable, while we did see some really significant and really noticeable performance gains in other titles. But if you only play one game, make sure you check out how Sam will affect it first, or, you know, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll check it out for you. Now, keep in mind, all of this was tested on a very high-end system that is already performing really well, and all these differences don't really matter as much. But if at home you're actually dealing with a lower-end configuration, this setting will definitely make a larger impact. And at the end, I'm also kind of hoping that now, uh, when game developers know that this SAM feature is finally being used and uh, resizable bar is getting used by more configuration as well as gaming laptops nowadays, we will see more consistent gains in future titles as well. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope this topic was as interesting to you as it was for me while testing it out. And one last thanks to Alternate for sponsoring this video and sending this kick-ass system. So if you're in the EU and you're looking to buy a pre-built, check out this pretty sweet PC using the link in the description down below, as they're actually selling these from stock and you won't have to wait for, you know, ever. And thank you all for watching and sticking to the end. It means a lot. Bye guys, see you in the next one.